This video will cover the customization parameters in NetMaster. When you bring up the region for the first time, NetMaster makes sure that you update several mandatory customization parameters. You can change those values or any of the ones handled by the customizer. To get to the customizer, enter slash parms or a.c.p. There are several commands for each parameter group. There are S or B for browse, U for update, H for help, L for the initialization log or I log, and SD for set default. I will go into more depth on each of them. The first option is browse. This allows you to view and or update the current settings for that selected parameter group. Select the $NM alert hiss parameter group by using a B. From here, you will have several more options, PF3 for exit, PF4 for update, and PF5 for iLog. I'll show you more about this later. If there is more than one page, you will see PF7 or PF10 for back, PF8 or PF11 for forward. Let's PF3 back to the main screen. The next option is U for update. This allows you to make changes to that group. You can get into update mode by pressing PF4, update when you are in browse mode. In this video, we will change the time of day for alert purge in the alert hist parameter group. Select dollar alert hist with U. Once in the update mode, you will have the options to PF3 for file, PF4 for save, PF5 for iLog, and PF6 for action. The options that are underlined are the only options that can be changed. If you make changes to the fields, you can press PF3 File to file the changes. The changes are not applied to the current region, but are applied to subsequent starts of the region. These changes are written to the VFS file. Press PF6 Action to apply the changes to this region. The changes are not saved. The PF6 function key is not effective if the parameter group can only be applied during region initialization, as noted on the data entry panel. If you want to apply and file the changes, press PF6 for action and then PF3 to file the changes. For example, if you want to set the time of day for alert purge to 23.59, tab down there and change it to 23.59. Since I want to change the time to affect this region, I press PF6 for action. After you have actioned the parameter group, you should see the IAIN0112 action of parameter group $RM auto files completed or a failure message. From this screen, we can do a PF5 for the initialization logger iLog. This will also show you the initialization log for that parameter group. You can view the iLog by placing an L next to the parameter group on the main customizer menu. While you are in the iLog, you can do an S or H for help on the specific message, or you can type L next to the entry and it will position you to the same specific time in the activity log. This is good to see what was happening in the activity at the same time. By pressing H on a message, this is the help for message or command issues. Pressing PF3 will get you back to the iLog. If you select L next to a message, this again positions us at the same time in the activity log. Press PF3 twice to get back to the customizer main menu. The next option is SD, set default. This enables you to reset the parameter group values to defaults. The values, however, are not applied. To apply the defaults, enter U for update beside the group and press PF6 action from the panel that appears. Do the SD against $NM alert hist, then a U, and then PF6. Note that the time of day for alert purge is 11.00. Alert purge deletes expired alerts.